Cincinnati has always had a very strong German heritage. Nothing echoes this more than this part of the park. Right now we're going to take a look at Oktoberfest. That's another thing. Coney Island sold beer. It was just a tradition. You know, in all the ethnic days of the 20s and 30s, you had beer. Well, no Six Flags Park sold beer. You didn't do that. But beer wasn't a problem. There was no intoxication. It was a hot day. People would have a beer. It was never a problem. So we sold beer at Kings Island, and Cincinnati is such a German town, and you had to have a beer garden, and you had to have a fest house. And uh, that, that was, it, as far as I'm concerned, it was very easy to come, come up with these themes. They were all natural. Oktoberfest was a capitalization on Cincinnati's German heritage, and uh, we wanted to serve beer, so we uh, we created the German beer gardens area. And I don't remember if it was the first year or second year that we put in the uh, the big fest house, but that became a landmark in that area where we put had ice skating and shows and did the German foods and everything. So uh, we had. Uh, uh, we themed the rides in that area, uh, Drunken Barrels. Uh, that was uh, taken from uh, an Oktoberfest ride. Uh, so we, we themed the area. I think we had the swinging ship in there, in that area. So, again, all those rides and the, and the planning came from uh, the Cincinnati huge German heritage. Well, Oktoberfest was one of those very interesting areas at Kings Island, themed very, very well. Um, my recollection of probably um, Oktoberfest was lots of spinny rides. So you had rides, you had the spinning keggers, you had the Ferris wheel, you had the Baron Curb, um, you also had the Bavarian Beetle. So if you weren't spinning at one time or going downhill at one time, um, you weren't in Oktoberfest. I think the thing that really got me about that the most is they would fill you full of beer at the Cons Beer Garden. You had the Sausage House. You had the Munchin Cafe. So you had all this food you would eat, and then you would get on the spinniest rides in the world. And, then, and I can't forget the rotor. The rotor was another great ride over there that just spun you until the floor dropped out of it. So um, Oktoberfest, it seemed to be there was a lot of litter getters over in uh, that area cleaning up a lot of content sometimes. It was a very popular area and still uh, popular today, a little different, but uh, uh, I think the German beer gardens today is Bubba Gump Shrimp House. <laughs> but uh, it, uh, back then it was, uh, it was certainly a, an interesting and uh, 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 a great part of Kings Island. Only a few iconic structures still remain in this part of the park, but it's amazing how the accordion music, the clinking of beer mugs, and the smell of rotwurst and sauerkraut bring back the memories. I hope you've enjoyed this look back at Oktoberfest.